exorcisms were performed before the time of Jesus Christ. In the Bible, Jesus is said to have been the most powerful exorcist. For centuries, the Roman Catholic Church has practiced the rite of exorcism, a prayer taken from the Book of Roman Rituals that orders a demon from a person. The Catholic Church to this day has bishops assign exorcists when needed. In general, we know that Satan's motive always is, is pride, uh, hatred, anger, and a desire to, to bring about the ruin of souls. The ruin of souls is what Alberto Salinas says he also tries to prevent. Alberto is a curandero or a faith healer, but in 22 years, he says he's performed over 100 exorcisms. They're there in, in, in hiding, so to speak. And we believe they're there to torment the person that they're living in. But Alberto says he drives demons out. He says he's been exercising a demon from this woman for the past nine months. He had been enrooted. He was already you know, enrooted in her body for a long time, for many years, and that I was going to be unsuccessful in attempting to get him out of her person. Six months into the exorcism process, Alberto had this home video taken. Alberto says by this time, he's worn the demon down. Alberto uses incense, herbs, holy water, and what he calls sacred vestments to battle the demon. The woman reacts violently. But when is demonic possession considered real? Is this woman really possessed? What may have been considered possession a long time ago has changed since the advent of modern science. People are going to opt for the explanation of a personality disorder as a demon possession because that is what they understand. To verify a possession, the Catholic Church has a long list of requirements. First, all medical and psychological problems are ruled out by experts. Then, there are the symptoms. Incredible strength so that people could not hold him down. Living in the dead. To be able to speak in languages which the person does not know. Mirabili dictu, don't you agree? You speak Latin. The person revealing knowledge which that person could not possibly know. Something secret which only could be known by that other person and by God and by Satan. Alberto says the demon in this woman identified himself. And the spirit declared himself as his name being Astaroth. Astaroth is said to be Satan's former Grand Duke. Did he say what he wanted? He wanted to take her soul. Nine months into her exorcism, Team 4 News took this video just last week. Alberto says the battle is almost over. <laughs> After the exorcism session, the woman tells us what she has been going through. She says it's as if someone else is speaking through her. It's not her, like two people speaking at once. In the final analysis, exorcisms are constantly being addressed as the battle between good and evil continues. What is necessary and what is needed is that that person be, be made whole. And my faith is in the Lord and I'm in, the, I'm in God's hands and they can't touch me. Everyone can and should pray for deliverance uh, from evil.